Are you in the club? Hey guys, if you watched my previous Trolls video, then you'll know that we ended up with a canvas with Guy Diamond on it. And today we are going to add to our canvas. So I want to show you <laughs> my very long arms, what we're going to do in today's video. Okay, enough silly. So we're gonna add this little troll riding on the back of this little insect that I think is a ladybug. And this grouchy little troll. And then I have like some little decorations to add. So we're going to add them around on the canvas and then use a couple of different techniques to make this really super colorful and cool. So let's go, let's do it. It's very quiet around here today because Rock is at the vet. So Zumi is just laying on his big huge bed, <laughs> taking advantage of it while he's not here. Here's one of Zumi's beds. Here's Zumi's little crib, which is funny. This was my doll crib for my baby dolls when I was little. And she's on Rock's huge bed. Isn't that funny? The first thing that I want to do is paint all of the canvas a light blue color. And initially, I was gonna leave it white. When I was putting this guy on, I thought that it would look really cool, but now I wanna change it, so I wanna show you how we can do that. I've got some blue paint, and I'm going to add some white to it. as well as some gloss medium. And what the gloss medium does is it kind of just changes the opacity of the paint. So it makes it go a little further. And then, let's see, we'll see if we can get the color that we want. We'll just, start working it around on the easel. I mean, on the canvas. <laughs> I'm used to painting on an easel. Okay. I like that. I think I want it to be a little lighter, so I'll probably add some white on top of it. So 
I thought you might like to see how I do this so you can see my fancy technique. <laughs> <laughs> which is which is not a fancy technique at all. I'm trying to be funny. So what I like to do, and it's hard to do this when I'm recording, is I like to get like really close to it so I can get into all of those teeny tiny little areas. So it's not going to look great until it's dry. After it dries, all of those little brush marks won't be as noticeable. So I'm just kind of working my way around and filling in all of these areas that are close to the cutout. You guys remember when I painted the Shopkins? That was so long ago, that was like a few years ago. <laughs> I don't think I've done a like a canvas since then, but it's really fun. I like ah, I like to do I like to do artsy things. Okay. So what I'd like to do now, oh, I've got to do these two little spots right here. And there. So what I, I'm gonna do now, and I'm hoping that this will add a little bit of depth so that it's not just like flat blue paint in the background. I'm gonna add a little more white and then we're going to add the rest of our little characters, our little cutouts. So, I need to go get some white paint. Stay right there. <laughs> okay. Oh, I keep forgetting that that is stuck. All right, so now I just poured a little bit of white paint right on the canvas, directly on the canvas and just going to paint it everywhere. I'm making such a huge mess <laughs> all over the table. Okay, all done. What do you guys think? Do you think that looks better? <laughs> just kidding. So I'm just going to keep working that in like so. Grab a little more of that blue. Now I'm going to add some of the gloss medium. So this like changes the texture or the consistency and it will just make it ooh, kind of um, not thinner, but just kind of makes the paint a little more see-through or maybe less dense. It's kind of hard to describe. And it definitely um, makes it go further. So see how it's kind of evening it all out? I add a tiny bit on this side. Like so. And everything that I'm using today, you don't have to get it at a fancy art store. You could get it like at Michael's, which is a craft store, or I think you can even get it maybe at Walmart. Okay, so I like the way that looks. So now I'm going to add some of the little cutouts. 
Okay, so I definitely put some thought into the placement of these. So I wanted to make sure everything would fit. And right now I'm just pushing down and making sure that I'm getting all the little ripples and air bubbles out. Oh no! My hands have a lot of blue paint on them. Perhaps I should go and wash them. Okay. Then we're gonna put this little sprig of grass right here, right here, like so. All right, this is just a little decoration. I'm gonna put that right up in the corner. And this, put right on this side. I'm just using this instead of my finger so I don't transfer more blue paint. Okay, and now this guy, our grouchy little troll. He needs to go in here somewhere. Actually, I don't think I was gonna put this here. I think I was gonna put this guy here. Well, we'll just put him right on top. Actually, how about this? Let's peel this off. We'll put this guy down here. Like this. And then, will this still fit? Yes. Let's pull up his hair a little bit. <laughs> Then we'll put this back down. And so now I like the placement and so I'm going to let it dry and then I'll cover everything with this gloss medium which can also act like a sealant. So I'll do that and then we're gonna make it super colorful. Actually, <laughs> I'm gonna change one thing. So I'm not going to put the gloss medium over it yet because I want to use Sharpie markers to do some of the really um, little detail work and also because I have so many Sharpies and they're really colorful and good. So I wanna do that and then um, I'll gloss over to seal that and then I'm gonna show you this really cool thing that we're gonna do with all different colors of crepe paper to finish it off. So, Sharpie's next. Zumi's just gonna relax here, <laughs> I guess. From what I can tell, this is Branch, and this is DJ Suki. So, we'll start right here with Branch, played by Justin Timberlake. We'll start with his little vest, which Looks like it's made out of leaves. <laughs> I really like using Sharpies when I do projects like this with a lot of detail because I don't have a super steady hand with painting. I have friends who <laughs> can paint with no problems, but I have such a hard time doing fine detail work. So I like the point on the Sharpie.
I have a gray Sharpie and that is what we used here. But from what I can tell, I have some pictures on my iPad and from what I can tell, he's kind of like a bluish gray. So I think I'm gonna mix up some paint and paint him. But first, we can work on DJ Suki. Okay, let's start with her bright orange hair. So quick update, I obviously haven't finished the video yet and that's because my friend came to town and so I hung out with her for a little bit. And um, now I'm dealing with this, which is a major crisis in my life. My phone has died and I can't seem to fix it so I might have to restore it and if I do I'm gonna lose all my pictures, which is awful. But anyway, that's besides the point. I am getting ready to switch gears and show you guys the cool tissue paper technique. I told you about. Right here it says it's fixing it. Nothing is happening. So I think you're gonna really... <laughs> I was gonna say I think you're really gonna like the tissue paper technique. How's it going? Just for the record, she loves that. That's like her little safe place. So it's not like I put her in a cage. She goes in there on her own. She's obviously chewing on something that she likes. And this is what we're gonna be doing next. I'm gonna rip up little pieces of tissue paper from a bunch of different colors. And then we're going to glue them on to our Trolls canvas.
I'm gonna use some clear glue and let's just start here. So one of the reasons I like this, and you can probably start to see it, is that it's building up texture the more tissue paper that you add. So you just have to go slowly and break off little pieces and kind of use your finger or a paintbrush to keep them within the lines if that's important to you. And um, as it dries, you can add other layers and so it looks really neat when it's finished. And if you decide to try this and you do it in a tight space, what I would recommend is either coloring or painting or somehow filling in the small parts first and then putting tissue paper over it. But what I like to do most is I like to do um, either a paint or a layer of marker or crayon underneath and then I like to put tissue paper over the top. That way you can add the texture exactly where you want it because you're not just um, using the tissue to cover it. So this is what I have so far. I'm gonna add a little more tissue paper here and then we need to finish this little fella. I used my green Sharpie to color in these leaves and now I'm just going to dab some clear glue on and then we'll add a few pieces. And you can just play around with it and determine what you like best. This is my favorite, but it might not be for everyone. And you can see after you get the tissue paper wet with the glue, you can just kind of manipulate it and push it into whatever shape you want. Okay, I am going to modify Guy Diamond a little bit because he's so sparkly, so I want to find some glittery paint and change him, so I'm gonna finish Branch now, and since we're gonna change Guy Diamond, we can use our gray Sharpie to finish Branch. So Branch has a gray body and black hair. We'll do that now, and then we will alter Guy Diamond. I did not know that he was so glittery, but now I do.
Okay, I went ahead and finished up the coloring because I know it gets kind of boring watching that. We're going to finish up here and then add a little more tissue paper and then I'm just gonna add a final coat and glitter everywhere. Okay, let's add some green tissue paper. It got really cloudy <laughs> outside. So it looks a little dark, doesn't it? It's supposed to rain. So I guess the rain is headed our way. Also add a little orange and that will be a good place to have some texture since this is hair. You guys will have to leave me a comment and tell me what you think about this tissue paper. It's definitely a little more work but I really like the way it turns out. Pretty good so we're going to use this blue sharpie and just lightly go over guy diamond to try to bring some blue into his um, gray <laughs> fur and then what I'll do is when I paint over the sealer the gloss over the whole canvas I'm gonna sprinkle glitter all over him and then he'll be really glittery and sparkly the way he's supposed to be I'm also going to sprinkle some random glitter across um, just the different parts of the canvas where I think it'll look really cool. So, and then we're gonna do something to make Branch's hair look really cool. So, a couple more steps and then we are finished. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but I went over <laughs> Branch's hair and there's actually it's, it's very textured, but I'm not sure that that will translate in the video, but it looks really good. And I actually ended up kind of painting a little bit over Guy Diamond. And now we're gonna mix some gloss and some glitter and get that guy all sparkly. Okay, so we're gonna use our gloss medium now. Even though this looks like white paint, it's actually clear. And I'm going to... Think of exactly how I want to do this. I sort of want to just paint all over him with the gloss 
and then sprinkle the glitter in, but I'm also debating about mixing it up. I'm gonna try, <laughs> I'm gonna try it this way first. I'm trying to make him really, really glittery. Or really sparkly, or diamondy. That's what we should say, since he's Guy Diamond. Ooh, this is dangerous, because there's no shaker top. Hmm, I'm gonna move over here <laughs> to some other glitter that I have that has a little shaker top. See? Okay, looking good so far. and his hair. Sparkly. Can you guys tell? Oh my goodness. Maybe from this angle. Woo, he's so sparkly. So I want to add a little more glitter in a couple of places and then we are done. that side dry and we'll work on this side on sealing it with the gloss medium. I know it looks white and it looks like I'm messing it up, but when it dries, you're gonna see it'll be a little bit shiny and the whole thing will be sealed. So it kind of just finishes it. And I actually have, I was thinking that maybe I would do another one of these with just tissue paper, like create a character out of tissue paper. And I have a couple of ideas. If you guys think that you would enjoy that, you can leave me a comment and let me know. Or if you have a character that you would like to see me paint or create out of tissue paper, you can leave me a comment and tell me that. And here it is, all finished. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you back here real soon. Bye-bye.